I, I will share my entire screen because at the first part, I will uh, go to my website to do some page replacement demonstration on a JavaScript uh, program. Uh, that's why all the screen is being shared right now. Uh, so if you recall our memory days, memory memories, uh, so we have talked about the, uh, the way we put process, processes into the physical memory. So we first talked about putting them as a contiguous, as a continuous block, uh, the logical address space, the logical virtual memory is uh, put to the memory as one entity, as one block like an array. Uh, then we realized that it's not that efficient. So we went to the paging business. Uh, we, so I, okay, so finally I find a related slide. We, we divide a given process, the logical address space of it into units called pages. Uh, and then we uh, allocate frames for those pages in the physical memory. So this is the physical address space and uh, this would be the logical address space of the process. So they don't have to be con continuous. They don't have to be continuous, like one after another. They can be scattered around the physical memory. Then we use something called page table to keep track of which page is at what frame. Uh, yeah, so that was in the heart of the previous discussions. Uh, then we said that Keeping page table in memory is an extra space, extra action for us. We go to memory, get the mapping and get the frame number and then use it with the offset to go to the physical memory. And we realized that we can use a cache memory called TLB, translation look at site buffer, uh, where the most recent pairs of page versus frames are kept near the CPU. So we avoid this a journey to the physical memory for the page table. We just look it from another type of memory, but this is a faster access memory called a cache uh, that is located close to CPU. But the problem is this is a very limited, uh, there is a very limited space here. That's why I cannot uh, put all the page table here. I can just put a subset here. So if the current query doesn't exist here, then it's a miss, then I have to go to the page table. So TLB is important. Uh, and we have discussed the effective access times in the presence of hits and misses. So you should understand those parts, uh, go over them in the previous videos if you have problems. Uh, then still with the paging, we uh, talked about uh, replacing the one dimensional page table with uh, multi dimensional ones like with hierarchical paging for instance i have a level 1 outer page table which pages to other page tables and in this level 2 now i have access from pages to frames okay so i have hierarchy of page tables basically i keep this outer one in the memory at all times but the trick is for those level two tables, I only keep uh, a few of them in the me memory. So essentially the ones I am using uh, are in the memory and the rest are stored in the disk. So I am saving space in the memory because this page table issue, it comes with every process because I need to know this mapping. Uh, yeah, that's why it is important. Um, uh, and not only important, uh, I need to do something about it. I don't have to, I don't want to spend a lot of memory for this page table stuff. So hierarchical page table is one way to reduce that uh, memory. And we have worked on these examples. And in the end, we have seen that a four megabyte of page table in one dimension uh, can be reduced to 24 kilobytes of memory usage using two levels of page tables. 
Uh, we have also talked about hashed page tables, which is a further improvement on the hierarchical one. Uh, and then we began, began our discussion on the virtual memory, where uh, again the idea is paid on demand. So only the uh, uh, only the active pages are kept in the main memory, uh, and only a fixed amount of frames are reserved for a given process. Uh, that's why that fixed amount of frames may fill up quickly. You have to replace an existing page with the current requested page. This is called page fault when the current page doesn't exist in in your reserved frames, and it is called page replacement uh, when I replace a given page in the per, in the case of a page fault. I replace it with the a good page that uh, stores my current instruction uh, or that stores the array that I am referring to, so, etc. Okay, so that was again discussed, uh, and we have again discussed the time issues uh, in the face of page faults. So we realized that we should keep page faults as uh, low as possible. Uh, then what have we done? We have talked about other virtual memory tricks like copy on write, where it is about forking process creation. We only create the pages of the new process if there is an update, a write on the existing pages of the parent. Uh, if not, we just share those pages among two parent and child processes. But in the case of a write, for instance, parent writes to C, then only in that situation we create the copy of C and we update the copy and we give the original one to process, so uh, to the child. Yeah, copy on write is important. Uh, then we uh, talked about this dirty bit or modify bit business where uh, what is that? So in the case of a page replacement, I select a victim page, like page 77. I need to write it back to disk because it is going, but I also need to store the changes within that slot of memory because maybe there is an array there and I have updated the array content. So if there is an update, then modify bit of 77 is already set. Uh, which tells me that there is an update. So I write page 77 to disk. Uh, but what if there isn't any update? Then the dirty bit will remain as zero, which means that I have read the page 77 uh, during its CPU time. So what have I done? Maybe I have read instructions from it and I executed them. Uh, and which didn't affect the current page, or I have read an array from that page 77, and I have just read the array content without modifying it. So in the end, page 77 has not been modified. So then the virtual memory concept tells me that don't write it back to disk, don't spend time by accessing disk and writing it back because it is the one that I have initially extracted, okay? So there is no change, hence there is no need to rewrite. So modify bit business helps me do that. Uh, and then for the rest, we stick with this page replacement stuff. So how to select the victim page? Because again, there is only um, a limited amount of frames given to a, to a process and uh, that space is going to fill at some point uh, and you need to replace an existing page in that space of frames uh, so how to select the select that page that was the deal uh, and we have seen fifo first and first start replacement uh, then least recently used replacement uh, so like we keep the most recently used ones, 
we only replaced the least recently used because the intuition was that uh, apparently I am not using that page anymore. It is least recently used, so I can kill it easily. That's why uh, we have used that algorithm uh, and we have seen how to implement it. Uh, then we talk about the second chance, uh, which is one quick implementation of LRU, least recently used tactic. Uh, so it gives us a fast way to implement it because with the previous exact implementations, they will give the exact solution, but they will be slow, either using a different structure like a stack or using an access to clock hardware. So we want to avoid them. Uh, that's why we went to this approximation solution, which is called the second chance. And I will also make a demo about it in a second. Uh, and yeah, LRU, FIFO optimal. We have also talked about other policies like LFU. What is it? Least frequently used. Not the time, but I keep a counter on the number of references. So least frequent means more, least popular. Uh, uh, so it is least frequently used, uh, it deserves to leave. Uh, but sometimes most frequently used ones are also eligible for the replacement uh, because the argument there was uh, 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 so in the most frequently used one, the page with the smallest count, but then it will be least frequently used. Let me, the smallest count was probably just brought in and has yet to be used. Huh? Okay, so uh, with the few references, uh, so in the first policy, we tell you to remove the least popular ones because it looks like we are, I am not using it. Okay, this is an argument. But in the MFU case, the opposite case, the argument is that uh, the least frequently used ones are valuable. You don't have, you don't want to lose it because they may be the pages that are just brought in. Okay, so it means that I will use them a lot in near future. That's why you just use the most frequently used one, meaning that I have already used a lot of it. Uh, like I have spent my time with it. Uh, so the intuition is that then use then replace that one. So yeah, nothing is optimal actually. Uh, then I will continue with allocation of frames uh, after understanding this replacement business. How about uh, the decision of the number of frames for a given process? But before going there, as promised, let me come here uh, to the website of our class. And I have this demo JavaScript written by Onur Tolga Şehitoğlu, a professor in our department. So I have uh, got the secret from him and put on my website. Uh, so here, here we can discuss policies, okay? Uh, like, let's start with the FIFA policy, which we have already discussed. Uh, but you will be familiar, get familiar with this notation. So here are the pages. Okay, so this makes my uh, logical address space. So this is a process from this one to this one. Uh, uh, actually, these so these are not the exact pages. So let me take it back. So these are the references to the pages. So I certainly have a page seven, page one, page 10, and I reference it to read it. So no update, no modify bit read it, read it, write it, etc. So these are the pages that I will deal with. They, there may be more of them, but for the example, I am only interested in this set of pages. So in the FIFA policy, so it is important to count the number of page faults as well as the writing to disk for the swap out. Okay, so you should be able to track these numbers uh, nicely. So this is will 
move you one by one. So there will be a definitely page fault because seven is not in my frames. So there was a fault. I put it, I, I didn't replace anything, but it's a fault, right? Because seven was not in my frame. Later, white means this is the uh, next, uh, next reference, next item in my list. So one, page one, do I see a page one in my frames? No, I only see page seven. So I don't know why there is a next five years. I don't care about it. Page seven is here. So one will cause a page fault. Okay. Uh, yeah. And it will go to the uh, back of the queue. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then 10, again, it will cause another fault because 7, 1 exists, but not 10. And I put it here. Uh, yeah, then 4, another page fault is coming for. Yeah, now in the next round, I have an access to 4, which is already here. So it won't cause any page fault. I will just read the content from here. So nothing will change below. Nice. 7, still very good. Uh, because it exists but the thing is I will make a write during this reference so I will set the bit of it to one modify bit to one so later when I replace it the pages written will increase due to this thing okay so uh, again for seven it won't increase as expected nice now comes the eight okay it doesn't exist in my frames Seven, one, ton, ten, and four do, but uh, eight doesn't. So it will cause a page fault. And which one will I uh, remove? This is where the policy kicks in. Uh, I will remove the first thing. Remember, it was seven because this is the front of the queue. This is the back. And pages written will also increase because modify bit of seven was one. Uh, Yes, what just happened? <laughs> uh, weird. Uh, so, FIFO, are we in FIFO? Ah, no, we are in optimal replacement. Unbelievable, yes. Uh, I was talking about a different policy. Uh, yeah, my bad. Um, and I didn't keep track of the optimum stuff, so it is confused. So let, let's start from scratch then. Sorry about it. And at least you get the framework. Uh, so let's do the FIFA policy, okay? It is FIFA first in first start. Uh, let's do it quickly. Seven, fault, uh, one, fault, 10, fault, four, fault. I have four faults and I brought them in. Now I access to four, which already exists in my queue in the end of it but i don't care it exists so it won't cause any fault okay nice seven there won't be any page fault but there is a right action happening to this uh, page so the modify bit of this will be one so that when i replace it later i will write it to disk and actually it comes at this point so i want to remove uh, i want to access to page eight, which doesn't exist in my frames. So I need to remove something. This is where the policy kicks in. The policy tells me to remove the first in. Remember it was seven, if you look here, but let's stick with this uh, visual. Seven will be removed. So it will contribute to the page fault because eight doesn't exist. And seven will also be written back to disk because it has been modified earlier. Yes, written one and page fault is going to be five, yes. And be careful, eight went to, uh, goes to the end of the, back of the queue, uh, because this is last in. I don't want to lose it quickly in near future. Okay, then what is happening? Eight. So I am in the white part. So eight, so seven, sorry. Seven doesn't exist in my, frames so i need to remove the first one which is p1 page one uh, and now be careful for the page one i haven't made any update to this particular page so i will not write it back to disk 
So page written will remain as one. Yeah, just I as I guessed. And then seven will replace it and also go to the back of the queue. Then comes the tree. Again, there will be a, a fault because tree doesn't exist in my current set. Uh, and tree will replace 10, right? And 10 will not be written back to this because the reference to 10 has been only read only. Okay, so 10 is gone. Tree comes and to the end of it and also notice that i have written to this page something i don't care so the modify bit of three is one uh, and i i think it makes pink the modified pages right okay so this is easier to track uh, i i guess so let, let's verify it later uh, then five comes again page fault it will be eight and i will remove four which will not be written back to this because it has not been written. Okay, so five, no update, but fault will increase to eight. Okay, five comes. Now seven, there won't be any page fault because I already have seven in my life and there is nothing to write back because no replacements happened. Okay, then two, uh, when two comes, I need a replacement because 8 is not 2, 7 is not 2, 3 is not 2, 5 is not 2. I will replace the front end, which is 8, which is the oldest one, apparently, if you uh, keep track here, but you can just look at the queue to the front end. So 8 will go and it will not be written back to the disk because it has not been modified at all. It is not pink. Okay. So it is still 1 and two is here i think this is enough so let's also do this one last time seven is here no fault no no nothing so it will be just uh, let, let me finish with this then 10 and write it's a page fault so it will be 10 and the one i will uh, kill i will replace it seven which is already modified pink so it will increase this one as well as this one see two and ten yeah so this is the fifa policy let's do the same stuff with the optimal policy what is the optimal policy uh, this is this involves seeing the future okay so uh, that's why this is kind of an impractical solution but this is a good thing for your tests uh, because this is the best you can do that's why it is good that you can have access to this policy but again this cannot be implemented because it requires you to look at the future and from the future uh, just replace the page that does not really happen in near future okay so what do i mean by this seven fault uh, again i don't know what next is but maybe it will be clear later one is a fault i put it here so there is no queue 10 is a fault put it here four is a page fault put it here now four is nothing just read only and it exists there is no fault okay seven no fault because it is here so no replacement but it will be pink i guess because there will be modification yes pink so we established that it makes it pink if i modify it now eight okay so now this is the interesting part i need a replacement because eight doesn't exist in my current set so should i kill seven one ten or four so i will look at the future i will see a seven so keep seven i will see a 10 so keep it and i will also see will i see two or four first yeah i have seen two here but why do i want to anyway sorry uh so seven is going to be excess so keep it then one ten four one ten four ten keep it one four one four one keep it so four is the one that can go because it will not be access so compared to the other three four is the least uh, popular one so this will go away 
and it will be a page for yeah for it is done and it will be a page fold and i put eight here later i want access to seven which is here and i modify it one more time but i don't care i have already made it pink so this is really uh, this modification is important it is probably different than this modification but i don't care i will write it back to disk anyway because of the previous pink action so this will do nothing effectively now three okay another replacement because three is not does not exist in my set of frames what i have to do is i look at the future okay five seven two but there is a seven so keep seven two seven ten there is a ten keep ten so one or eight which one is the victim eight also exists in the future so one i don't care from now because i already i have already seen the three good ones so one is the victim so i will remove this entity and it will be a fault so it will be six and this will be black let's see yes black uh, and this is six and i put three right over there with the modified color because it has been written let's do one more step five is going to be a miss because fault page fault it doesn't exist so seven don't touch it it will be accessed so i see the future like a magician two i don't care ten in future so keep it so three or eight will i see three i have seen three eight so it means that eight is also valuable to me but i need to replace three which is just which has which has just arrived right so it is like last in first out right in this step so i will remove this yes remote and put five in with the uh, white color because it is not dirty and so on so i think this is clear now let's do the next policy which is the second chance uh, but before that let's do lru least recently used uh, okay so i will uh, replace the list recently used one so the same by the way this part is always the same right just make sure yeah only the policy is changing okay least recently used lru seven fault one fault ten fault four is a paid fault uh, okay so here it is using the time counter to detect the least recently used one uh, so whenever you have a reference you will update this time counter so four what's happening next step is four and it will be used in the next time so this will be for them okay this is the last time i have access to this page now seven i am there is no fault because seven exists but i need to make an update because this has been used most recently used so to tell it to the system i have to play with this variable uh, so the current time of it will be five right the next uh, value is five and no fault so it is five no fault and i also made it pink in case i re replace it later because it is modified it should be written back to disk now eight comes uh, for the eight uh, again it doesn't exist in my set of frames which one should be killed least recently used one so the smallest ts value is this one two okay so i will replace two this will be black and eight will come here black eight comes here and page fault has increased now the seven uh, but it is here so no fault but the time of it will be updated again to the most recent time which is seven because six plus one is seven now three comes uh, i will remove this one because it has the minimum time value so it has been least recently used this is again the usage time so it will 
first of all, pay total this six rate, and this will also be gone. So let's do it gone six and put three here. It was the right, so it was modified to pink. Five comes uh, with five in my hands. I have a page fault because seven, eight, three, four, no five. So the one to be replaced will be this one, thanks to this pointer. It says I am the minimum. Okay, so this will go. There will be a page fault. And the time of five will be nine because it is the most recent. Eight is the max. I have max plus one. Okay, so nine and five and not modified. And page fault has increased. Let's do this because there won't be any fault. It is easy to handle. Uh, uh, I have the hit, but I have to notify that this is just used, so this will be 10 the next time. Yeah, okay, this is LRU. Now, let's give a second chance. Okay, so uh, in, in the LRU logic, so this thing, uh, but the least recently used one, I will not just uh, remove it immediately. I will... Uh, uh, so I will implement it with a Q, okay, second chance. So first and first, so the, this implementation will approximate the LRU, okay, but without keeping any uh, clock access. So in a sense, what I will do now will look like a lot to the LRU output. It will not be the same, but it will approximate it uh, sufficiently well. So again, this is going to be second chance, but I will do a FIFO Q logic. So, and there will be a bit, okay? So instead of, remember again, in the LRU, I am not using a bit. This is an integer variable like 32 bits because it is just increasing. And also getting it uh, from clock Hardware is a different instruction and a different action. You can do a separate register, so maybe avoid clock hardware access, but still this is 8 bits. So in this first way, I will still use something here called R, but this is just one bit. It will be either 0 or 1, okay? So currently, initially, R is 1. So FIFO, 7, then 1 comes put it to the back of the queue, then 10 comes back of the queue, and 4 comes back of the queue. So now, okay, 4 comes, which is not a fault, so I will do nothing, actually. 7 comes, again, no fault, because 7 exists, page 7, but I will modify it so it will be pink, I guess. Yes. Now this is the interesting part, uh, not very interesting, but 8, there is a page fault, so this will be five. Uh, which one to replace? I will not immediately replace it, so I will give seven a second chance by making this reference bit to uh, zero, okay? Toggle it from one to zero. And with that version, it will go to the back of the queue with its new reference value. Yeah, zero and go. Similarly, one goes to back with zero. 10 goes to back with R0, and 4, again, this is in the beginning of the queue, but I will not replace it because R gives it a second chance. R tells me that this is not going, I will preserve it, uh, but there will be a cost. I will preserve it, but for the next round, I will not preserve it because then it will be 0. So I will make it 0 and put it back. Now in the beginning of the queue, I have 7. And there is no second chance left for it because I have already used it. So this is zero, meaning that I will, this is my victim. I will replace this. So this will be black and eight will come here. A black, eight here. Uh, and also this is a FIFO queue. So from here, it goes to back actually. Uh, and the good news is that it has a second chance. So I will not remove eight in near future. Okay, so because it is like the most recently used, I should keep it. I should use the least recently used ones. Okay, that is the logic. Uh, and notice that page fault has increased from four to five. 
Now next is seven. Be careful. Uh, I need to. There is a fault. It will be six. Uh, so which one? In the beginning, I have this page one, and it has already uh, used its first chance. So second. Uh, in the second one, I will just kill it. So this will go, and seven will come here with the reference with of one. Okay, yeah, seven comes here with one, and page fold became six, and it is pink because there is a read writing, so modify bit is one. Uh, and page is written, by the way, you should also keep track of this in the exam. Um, so page is written, has been one, uh, because I have already uh, written back uh, seven when I first, uh, actually it, it has just been one. Uh, when I replace this seven. Now three comes. What is going to happen? There will be a replacement because three isn't available. And I will go to the beginning of the queue, which is 10. And more importantly, it has, this is the second chance because one chance is already gone. So I will make it re remove. I will remove it. Three will come here. But I will not write it back to disk because this is uh, not modified. It is modified, it is zero. Although I don't show it here, it is not, not pink. So this will be one, but this will be seven. Okay, yes, yeah, seven, one. And also the newcomer tree goes to the end of the queue uh, with uh, the reference bit of one. Now five is a fault. So this is going out because it has zero. Uh, second chance and not written to disk. Okay, five here and so on. So uh, let's do it a couple of time, more times. Seven will, uh, okay, seven, there is no fault. And I will write it again so it will change nothing. Two, there is a problem. And the problem is that two doesn't exist. So fault. And they will. This will be zero. Goes to back. This will be zero. Goes to back. And this will be zero. And it will go to back. And finally, this will R will be set to zero. And it will go to back. Now this is already zero, so it will not go to back. So it will just be removed. So two will replace eight apparently, in this logic. Uh, yeah, two will come here and go there with its reference bit. And uh, later, ah, okay, so this is an interesting point. So notice that now this is going to make it different from the FIFA logic because normally seven will definitely be the one to be replaced, right? In the case of the next fold. But before that, be careful, I have reference to seven. So there won't be any page fold. So this will still be nine, but more importantly, the R bit of seven will be set to one again. Okay, this is very important. Uh, so it will effectively give seven a second chance. So uh, in the FIFA logic, I would just kill it when I see 10 in the next step. But now seven will survive because R of it will be one. Yes, just I said, R is one and no page fold. So now the 10 comes, it doesn't exist. Okay, so there will be a fault. Uh, and I try to replace it, but thanks to the second chance bit, R1 tells me that don't do that. Just decrease it back to zero, toggle it, and put it to the back of the queue. Okay, with zero. Uh, but now the next, the new front of the queue is page three which has already in the second chance because it's R is zero apparently. So I will remove this page three, replace it with 10. Okay. So, and it is logical, right? Because it is uh, more least recently used than the seven because I have just used seven right here. So it approximates the LRU as you have seen. So three goes and 10 comes and there will be a page fold. It will also be 10. And also a page written will be two because three is going to be written back to disk. It has been modified. Okay, yeah, two. 
10 and 10. Yes, okay, I think this is enough. Uh, so these policies you should be very comfortable with in the exam uh, and maybe some other bonus policies uh, we have discussed in the slide set as well as here. Uh, so actually, don't be afraid. Everything I discussed here is also here. Additionally, I just show the second chance Q version here, okay? Uh, which is not covered sufficiently in the slide set. I just put two pages to it. Actually, I describe it here, like when it is reference set it to one, etc. Uh, but the example here is not that good. It is not sufficient. So I have uh, described it over this uh, demo. Yeah, that's why you are also responsible from it. Uh, and this will be the end of the class, uh, actually first uh, class. In the upcoming class in 10 minutes, I will talk about allocation of frames. So, so far we have discussed replacement of frames. Now I will answer the question, how many frames should I give to this particular process? Okay, so that will be discussed in 10 minutes. See you later.